Hi everyone, I'm Mike, and this is the Sunday Art Show. As you can see today, I'm out and about in the fresh air in Devon, and we've got some beautiful cows, some beautiful steer. Uh, this is in a field quite near the village of Star Cross in Devon. Uh, and cows are really, you know, often quite well behaved when you try to sketch them from life. So if you're looking to start drawing animals from life, I would recommend giving cows a go because uh, they tend to huddle together, as you can see, and they're often quite curious when you approach the field. So I'm painting the, the animal second from the not painting, I'm drawing the animal second from the right at the moment. And if any of you have been watching my animal alphabet challenge videos that I post every Wednesday, then you'll know that I've been using a Sharpie marker to, to draw animals it, for those videos from a reference photo. So what I'm doing now is I'm kind of transferring that technique for the beginnings of paintings that I do outdoors. And as you can see, you can work quite quickly. Now you have to be, you know, you, you can't really mess about because the, the Sharpie marker puts down a permanent marker pen, but as I'll be painting over with some acrylic, that's gonna give me a little bit of flexibility. So the group of cattle on the right have moved somewhat, so now I'm gonna tackle the cow on the left there. Oh, I keep saying cow, these are steer. Uh, I must, must stop myself uh, doing that. And so I'm going to keep this composition reasonably simple. I'm not going to try and tackle all six animals that we, we've got here, as, as cool as that would be in a painting. I want to keep things manageable. And that's why I'm just using A4 mixed media paper and just tackling two animals. Um, but, you know, it's a really good experience to be out in the fresh air and, and just working from life. This is what I want to drive my work toward, uh, towards more and more. So before I get to painting that sketch, I just thought I'd have a go at putting the pad down on the grass and, and sketching another one of the animals, this time when it's lying down. And this is another really cool thing about working from life. You know, if you look up uh, photos of, of cattle on the internet, then I think you'd probably be hard pushed to find one. I don't know, but I think you'd be hard pushed to find one of a steer or a cow lying down with a rear leg extended in the quirky way that this particular animal is doing. So, so I would never think to draw this normally. So it's really cool to be presented with these quirky little poses that animals adopt. And I'm sure if you're a farmer, then you, you kind of know all this, you know, because you see them every day. But as an artist, you know, I only really look at cattle when I paint them in detail. Um, so I, I was quite happy to capture that little sketch of that quirky little pose there. So I'm probably just going to leave that one as it is, uh, pop in a little eye maybe, and perhaps a little horizon line. But anyway, back to, the, back to the, the drawing of the day, as it were. So what I've done is I've taken my little field easel now and propped it up against the gate. And the cattle have wandered off. They are still in the field, but they're not, not easily in view now. So I'm putting in some, uh, some light blue for the sky and I'm keeping the paper wet with, with the spray bottle of water that I typically use. I'm using my interactive acrylics, which I, is what I normally use at home, and I enjoy using those outdoors as well. So a slightly deeper, but still pale bluey grey now for the distant trees on the far edge of the field. And I'm going to you know, paint those in really quite loosely and some of the other distant hedgerows. So what I'm trying to do here is work quite quickly and capture a nice sense of light on both the animals and, and their environment, but without going into too much detail. You can see I've got my little decorating palette, decorator's tray on the ground there, so that works quite well. And working at this low level, even if there's a bit of a breeze, that helps kind of keep the paper and stuff under control. I have got it taped down, actually. But what I'm doing for the field, when I look at the field, you know, although it's green, there's also some yellows in it, and there's also some reddish browns as well. So what I'm doing is I'm putting several of those colours on my brush at once and in working across the, the paper quickly I get some automatic blending and a nice variation in the colour of the field. Because remember when you paint a grass field, generally speaking it's not going to be just pure green. At the very least there will be variations in the green but if you look closely there will often be bluey highlights and yellows. You can see some of the colours in the field off in the distance there. Now having done that, and one of the great advantages with the permanence of the Sharpie marker pen is I can just blast colour and paint across my drawing with no fear that you know, th the line is going to move at all. 
uh, and that could be both an advantage and a disadvantage, but for this quick sketch it's, it's a big advantage I think. So you can see I've taken some of my cadmium yellow deep, my phthalo blue, some of my permanent alizarin, and I've mixed up kind of that lovely reddish deep brown that those cattle had. And again, keeping the, the paper fairly moist, so I'm just adding water with the spray bottle. It allows me to do it quite gradu gradually. I'm just putting in some quick wash washes of colour over the two, two steer, keeping in mind the contours of the animal as I, as I typically do. So I'm, I'm getting, keeping the paint watery, allows me to put a little bit of texture in, uh, and you know gives me some expressive brush strokes. And really, I just want to cover and fill in the, the cattle here and cover the background work that I've done already. And you can see I can work really quite quickly with this technique. It's a, it's a wonderful way to work, you know, out in the summer sunshine, out in the fresh air, just kneeling on the grass, uh, working away. I put in a little bit of a cast shadow there, and if that mixes in with the, the field, that's fine. And now I've gone for a darker tone to just block in little bits of shadow. So this is going to be, you know, it's a little more than a painted sketch, really. But I'm trying to refine my technique so that I can get a good result as quickly as possible when I paint animals from life and work outdoors. And so this is the next step on that journey. Sorry, I don't know if my voice faded there. This is the next step on that journey, really. Uh, and now I've just taken, I've taken a deeper blue, a little bit of the phthalo blue, because some of the sky will be reflected on the animals. I'm using a little bit of imagination here. And, you know, the, the sky will be reflected, but in a darker hue. So, let me show you the sketches I've done and the painting so far. So here's another sketch that I did on the day. Uh, I didn't show you the video for this one, but it's just a simple sketch of one of the steer standing there. Uh, and yeah, you know, it's, it's worked out quite, quite, quite a nice flow to that one. And that's the sort of design you know, that I might put on an envelope or a little business card or something like that. But as a quick sketch, I was quite happy with that one. Here's the quirky little pose that you saw me filming on my phone. So this shows one of the steer lying down, as mentioned earlier. One of the rear legs is kind of kicked out onto the grass and it's kind of just a quirky little pose. So I just quite like it. Again, it's a very simple sketch. Could use it on a letterhead or something like that, or maybe on a little bag design. Um, but then the main painting of the day is the colour sketch that I've done here. And as you just saw, I went over the line that I used with the Sharpie marker and um, used washes of interactive acrylic, automatic blending techniques, and I haven't included any, de any details beyond what I did in the drawing. And I'm going to leave this painting as it is because I like the fact it's just a, an impressionist record uh, of a sketch I was able to do in a very short time in the open air. And so for me, this is the next stage in the progress of my outdoor painting. So we'll see how it goes in the future. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. As always, do ask me if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer those in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe and I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of The Sunday Art Show. Thanks again for watching.